there are some people on the planet that don't know who you are. I know. Where have they been all their lives? <laughs> Hard to imagine. Perhaps you could kick us off by just giving us a little bit of the Russ Harris story and why you're so passionate about ACT. Well, ACT uh, stands for Acceptance and Commitment Therapy, or in the corporate world, Acceptance and Commitment Training. And I fell in love with the ACT model when I first discovered it because it just seems so realistic to the human condition. And I wrote a, a book about that called The Happiness Trap, which uh, is kind of an introduction to how we can all apply ACT in our lives. And um, the purpose of what we're filming today is primarily to help therapists and coaches give them some little ideas about how they can uh, introduce ACT to the clients that they're working with. Okay, so perhaps you're going to share with us some imagery we can use or some just tangible tools that kind of bring the concept to fruition. Yeah, absolutely. So what I'm going to take you through in this little clip is called the act in a nutshell metaphor. And it's kind of, it's the whole act model in one little metaphor. And then uh, we have already filmed a bunch of other clips on a different day to this, which are kind of follow-up clips. Uh, so, you know, the challenge for the viewer will be see if they can spot the difference uh, between this clip and the other ones. Yes, well, well, I'm wearing the same shirt, but I think you've gone all funky today. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got a different shirt and, and I'm a bit stubbly. We, oh, we've given it away. Damn. <laughs> and so, uh, but, um, yeah, so, so, so this is kind of the basic overview of, of the... Uh, and then the other little clips kind of show how you can take bits and pieces of this and use it in different contexts with different clients. Great, great. Let's do it. Okay, so um, what I want you to do is imagine that this clipboard, well, it's not really a clipboard, is it? This folder contains all the difficult thoughts, feelings, emotions, memories, urges and cravings and sensations that you struggle with. Do you struggle with some of that stuff? Yeah, you're going to need a bigger folder. <laughs> okay, I've, I've got a few here. Uh, but basically this, this contain what we call, in ACT, we call private experiences. Experiences that you have that no one else knows about. Thoughts, feelings, emotions. And I want you to imagine that this contains all the difficult thoughts, feelings, etc. you've been struggling with in your life today. Sure, got it. So all the things that I feel I'm not, you know, good enough in uh, are here in this folder. Yeah, uh, I mean, this is kind of uh, painful emotions, it's your kind of I'm not good enough stories, it's any kind of painful thought, feeling, memory, emotion, any self-defeating belief attitude that's holding you back. Okay, now what I want you to do is take tight hold of it, both hands holding it really tightly so that I can't pull it off you. Okay, you've got a tight hold of it. And I want you to imagine that I, sitting here, I represent everything that makes your life rich, full and meaningful, okay? Not that I've got delusions of grandeur. <laughs> Okay, but I, I'm, uh, I'm the people you love, I'm the activities you love, I'm the stuff you're passionate about, the things you like to do and the people you really care about, okay? I'd like you to take tight hold of all these thoughts and feelings and hold it right up in front of your face till you're totally absorbed in it. So your whole attention is taken up with these difficult thoughts and feelings, okay? And tell me, while you're all caught up and absorbed in this stuff, do you feel engaged and connected with me? No. I'm the people you love, I'm, I'm telling you the story of my life, I'm sharing really important stuff with you. Do you feel able to take it in and engage with me? I do not. Uh, what's your view of the environment like while you're all caught up in this? Can you see all the stuff going on at the cafe here, the tables and the interesting people? No, I'm kind of aware that it's there, but I can't see it and I'm certainly not part of it. Yeah, you, you, so you're cut off, you're disconnected. Uh, and, you know, if I'm your favourite movie here, or, or you, you know, do you think that you could enjoy it and take it in? Uh, let's go with no. <laughs> so you're missing out on a lot, you're cut off, disconnected, and you're holding this tightly, are you? Imagine going around all day like this. Imagine how difficult it would be. How, how difficult would it be to do the things that make your life work? Cuddle a baby, hug the person you love, drive a car, cook dinner, type on a computer. Yeah, it, it's incredibly frustrating and isolating. Yeah. And very, very difficult to do the things that make your life work, right? Now, what I'm going to get you to do next is try pushing it as far away from you as possible. Really push it away. Okay? Further, further, push it really hard. Straighten those elbows. Push it out of your arm. Because you don't like these difficult thoughts and feelings, do you? No, I don't. So get them as far away from you as you possibly can. Make, keep them at arm's length. Far, don't let them get near you, okay? And I want you to notice while you're doing this, firstly, how distracting is this? 
It's incredibly uncomfortable. I don't think I've stretched like this in a long time. <laughs> and, you know, imagine trying to watch your favourite movie while you're doing this. <laughs> imagine trying to have a conversation with the person you love while you're doing this. Could, could you cuddle a baby, drive a car, type on a computer? Yeah, I, I wouldn't advise it. So it's kind of it's 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 making life difficult. It's stopping you from doing the things that make life work. It's distracting. And is it tiring? Yeah, it's exhausting. We're only going to do this for another ten minutes. Okay, <laughs> it's kind of. I mean, you can feel it already in your arms. Right? Yeah, absolutely. It's tiring. It's distracting, and it stops you from being effective. Yes, get on with it. <laughs> okay, now just rest it on your lap. Let it sit on your lap. Just kind of move your arms around. Now. I feel much better, it's a huge relief. Okay. Just kind of see, you're free now, if I gave you a baby to cuddle or a computer to type on, you could do it? Yeah, probably not at the same time. But, um, <laughs> so you're kind of free to take action, and the people that you love, do you feel more engaged, connected with me? I do, yeah. What's your you know, relationship like with, with the, the, the restaurant here, the cafe? It's kind of lovely, there's um, nothing between us, so it's very open and clear and easy to communicate, and I'm also aware of a much larger world and perspective. Uh, so you're now able to give me your full attention if I'm uh, someone you love or I'm an activity you enjoy or a movie you like, you can give me your full attention, you're free to take action, free to do the stuff that makes your life work and engage fully in what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely, and it's expanded my peripheral vision as well, so suddenly I'm taking in more information, even though of course I'm completely <laughs> focused on you, Russ. As you should be. <laughs> so you've got lots more information coming in. And notice, just let that sit there, notice that these things haven't disappeared. These thoughts, feelings, emotions and memories are still there. Yeah, yeah, they just rested on my lap. Notice they're actually closer to you than a moment ago. You had them at arm's length. Now they're right up close to you. But you're interacting with them very, very differently. I, I feel more comfortable because it's not an effort to hold on to them. They're still with me. Um, they're safely with me, I guess, but um, they're not taxing my energy. So kind of comfortable with your discomfort, if you like. Yeah. So, so the, the thoughts and feelings haven't disappeared, but you've changed your relationship with them. You're holding them differently, such a way they have much less impact and influence over you, so you can take action, do what makes life work, engage fully in what you're doing. But does that sound like something you'd like to learn how to do? Let's do it. Well, that's what ACT is all about. ACT basically teaches you how to do this. So this is the kind of ACT in a nutshell metaphor. And if you really want to know more about it, you've got to buy the happiness trap. <laughs> Thankfully, I already have. It's available in all good bookstores <laughs> and the crappy ones too. So it's not really about pushing our discomfort away and it's not about struggling with our discomfort. It's about getting comfortable with the things that challenge us essentially and not struggling against them. Yeah, that's a good way of saying it. It's learning a new way to relate to the inevitable pain and difficulty of life. We're all going to have lots of pain in life, you know, no matter how good our quality of life, lots of painful thoughts and feelings. Learning a new way to, to relate to that through mindfulness skills. Mindfulness we can think of is kind of, it's, it's these three things. Instead of kind of, I'll get you to hold the microphone. Instead of uh, pushing this stuff away, we learn how to let it sit there. Instead of getting all caught up in it, we learn how to separate from it so that we can put our, all our attention into what we're doing. That's mindfulness. And, and, and then what? So then we can clarify our values, what matters in our heart, what's really important, take action to do the stuff that makes life meaningful. But we're doing it with a clear head, an open heart, and we're more receptive to more positive ways to move forward, I guess, because we're not expending our energy fighting with the very thing that we're trying to overcome or move through. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, doing this, takes a lot of energy doing this very distracting so mindfulness frees us up and take that action and engage in it sounds like a good journey to embark on cool and so then after this little clip if people want to go to the, the the various shorter clips where we'll look at different bits of that metaphor and how we can use them for different things yes, and considering we've already recorded those we can say they're highly valuable clips <laughs> check them out absolutely <laughs> thank you enjoy your juice Cheers. Sipping it mindfully. <laughs>